get a park. Baby, oh, there it goes. <laughs> well, you took the line, so that's nice. A little short. Yeah, gotta be 28 inches. Oh well. Try to get your hook back here. Thank you. That was fun. A little short here. Bye. <laughs> short clue, gotta go back. Pretty nice bonita. Good way to start the day. That's the best. What's what that? Were you? Uh, six. Six. Yeah. I don't know what I got. Just threw out a fly line sardine. It got bit really good. Fishing all season here at Catalina has been really good. We've been seeing bonita, we've been seeing yellowtail, a lot of calico bass. I think I got a bonita here. It's acting like a bonita, it's running. There he is, there's color. Yeah, it's a bonita. Okay, I'm gonna bounce them. Thank you. Here's a nice quality bonita. Haven't seen Benita this size in Catalina in a long time. 
Again, just fishing a 1-0 live bait mustad hook and live sardine. Nice, big, beautiful, quality fish. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action here aboard the Gale Force and go to the tackle box. Give you a good look at the gear we're using here at Catalina Island. Thanks, Mikey. This week in the Tackle Box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today over at Catalina Island. We're fishing with live bait, fishing for yellowtails and calico bass, and we're fishing light line, 20 pound test, 25 pound test max, even 15 pound, just to get that bite. And when you're fishing light line like that, you can use a light outfit like this, nothing really big, nothing really too heavy, something light that you can fish all day in your hands, make long casts to get your bait out there. Now you never know exactly what size bait you're going to have, if it's going to be small anchovies or big sardines or small mackerel. So it's really important that you always carry a wide selection of hooks. Now you hear me preach about having a wide selection of hooks all the time, and it's really important because I see so many people get out there at the island and they have the wrong size hook and they have to go borrow hooks or buy hooks on the boat, which can get expensive. For today's fishing, we have those smaller sardines, so anywhere from a size one or a size 2.0 live bait hook works out good. When there's yellowtail around, you don't want to use a really thin wire hook. You want at least a 2 or 3x wire hook. So if you hook a nice yellow, even with a small hook like this, you'll still be able to get it. So that's the basic gear you need for live bait fishing. With the calicos, if you want to use a bucktail, B52 bucktail, that'll work out good too. The smaller bucktails go with the strip of squid, the larger one's a whole squid. But right now we're catching all these fish on live bait, so you need to have a wide selection of live bait hooks, light line, and you won't be disappointed. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Yellow baby. Oh, oil. Come on. Come on. Water line, you guys. Look at that baby, huh? <laughs> That's what we're fishing here on Catalina. Gale Force, Dan Hernandez. Get that one, huh? Where is that? Here we go. We just made a move, we just came around the west end of the island, and it's the same thing, live bait fishing, with live sardines. Here we go, calico. This one's a little short. Nice calico bass. Just using 20 pound test line, light action rod, and uh, that 20 pound test with the mustad live bait hook is working really good here. Just wind. Just, just turn that handle, bub. Keep going. There it is, Abby. Look at that bag. Oh, nice. Lift them over, son. Bring them on over the boat. Bring them on over. Yeah. Oh, grab the line, Matthew. <laughs> I think you just oh, worried that yeah. now. All right. Nice calico ballast around. Matthew. Another, another beautiful bass. calico oh, bass. Oh, oh, another bass. Oh, my. Bass. Good job, nice Matthew. Uh, okay, on a bite like this, it's really important to grab a good, lively bait. Today, we're blessed with great, great bait, perfect size. We got a 1 0 mustad live bait hook, 20 pound test monofilament. And just gonna slide my hand underneath, grab a bait. Pin the bait right in front of the eyeballs, just like that. It was nice and lively. Now I'm going to find me a little spot here on the rail. Try to find me a spot. There we go. I'm just going to cast. So always make sure you look behind you, you don't hook anybody. Get it out there. Once the bait hits the water, all I'm going to do is let out a little bit of line. And I'm not throwing line out there, I'm just waiting for my fish to attract a, a calico bass or a bonita. And as they see that and they get scared, they're gonna go ahead and start running. 
So right now my bait's not doing anything, so I'm not throwing line out there. In fact, I don't feel my bait, so what I do is I put the reel in gear, wind up till I feel the bait, now I feel it, and now I'm just put it back in free spool. At this point, it's just a waiting game. You just wait for that fish to come up and hit your bait. There we go, I'm getting, I'm getting a bite. Oh, there's a fish right there. There's another fish over there. Here, I'm getting bit. I'm gonna wind down. You don't wanna just set the hook and he dropped it. So now I put it back in free spool and wait for the fish to come back. If you do that two or three times, you don't get bit again, then you wind it and change your bait. Now I'm getting bit. See the line coming off my reel. So what I'm gonna do now is put the reel in gear, wind down. There we go, set the hook. There he is, you got him. So just come up to the rail, take my time. It's not a big fish, I can tell by the way it feels. Here's a fish right here, a little calico bass. Here's my fish. There's that sardine that I tossed out there. This is probably the smallest calico I've caught today. There's my mustad hook. There's the sardine. And we're just gonna take this out and let the fish go. So to just show you how simple and easy it is, it's all about grabbing a good lively bait out there, weeding through these small ones to get a good quality fish. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action and when we return, we'll be back here at Catalina Island where the gale force is catching more calico bass. Let's let this guy go. Go. We got another one. There we go. Oh, nicer fish. Here he comes. Nice bass. This is a legal bass, nicer bass. And just to let you know what I did, this rig, it's the same exact rig, same reel, same rod, California rod. The only thing I did different is I went up to 30 pound spectra with 25 pound top shot monofilament. Same hook, must add one owl hook, and same bait live sardines, and there's a legal bass. This is David, he's one of our regulars. He also volunteers for my youth foundation. Brings out the dairy truck and hands out milk for the kids for free. And he's out fishing with us today with your brothers with you? Yes. Yeah, one of his buddies. A nice, beautiful calico bass, illegal fish he just caught. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish we're catching today aboard the Gale Force. This week in the galley, we're in Fullerton, California at the Matador Cantina. And standing next to me is Chef Dave. Hey, Chef. How you doing? Good to see you again. Thanks for inviting us. Uh, thanks for coming. And I met the chef on a fishing boat, on a fishing trip at San Nicolas Island. So what do you have in store for us today, Chef? Today I have some local rockfish, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bread it. Um, most people bread their fish in breadcrumbs. This is gonna be a tortilla-crusted rockfish. And then you go into the egg wash, and then this is our basically just tri-colored tortillas. Just little pieces. Little pieces we do in the robo coop. And we're gonna just bread it up like that. And this is gonna give it a nice texture and a nice little nutty corn flavor. Okay, and we're gonna go to the frying pan and a little bit of oil there. It's already hot, it's on a medium high heat. And then we're gonna go down into that oil. We're gonna go about three minutes on the side, okay? Uh, this is a locally caught rockfish from one of my seafood purveyors. It is something that you could go out and catch off of our shores here in California. 
Now, I know you like to go fishing, but as you're a restaurant here, do you guys serve a lot of fish dishes or I mainly do. all Mexican dishes? You know, I come from a big fishing background. I, uh, I've worked on cruise lines, live aboard dive yachts, and I've fished since I was a young child. <laughs> so we do a lot of seafood. Every Friday we do a seafood special. I do a ceviche, I do a bacon wrapped scallop dish. Um, I have wild salmon and mahi always on the menu as well. Cool. All right, it's just about done on the other side. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of lime on there, just for a little flavor. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plate it. I'm gonna take my little mold, which we mold the rice with. I'm gonna do a little bit of my black bean sauce on the front of the plate. Goes on top like that. And then we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of guacamole right on top. There you go. Well, thank you, Chef. This looks delicious. Oh, my pleasure. And Enjoy. what gave you the idea to use tortilla chips? It's just uh, something I do just because it gives it a little more flavor and a little more texture than most people just rolling it in flour or, mm -hmm. you know, typical egg batter. And I like the way it adds color to it, too. It definitely gives it a nice presentation of color. Okay, well, I gotta try this. Mmm. That's delicious. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice and fresh. You can always tell really fresh seafood when you take that first bite. And one thing I always tell people when they go to the market, if it smells like fish, don't buy it. Exactly. This is really great. Awesome. Well, thank and you And so I much. like the tortilla idea. That's really cool. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks, Chef. That's a pleasure. Thanks for coming by. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Fishing Catalina Island on the Dan, with Dan Hernandez show on the Gale Forest. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> the needle on the Gale Forest out of Long Beach on Dan Hernandez, Catalina Island. There you go, there you go. Okay, just left it straight up, straight up into the boat. That's a piece of mark. All right. Let's see that fish, guys. Yeah, yeah, that hook said good. Hold it up. This is my godson, Mark. He's out fishing me for the very first time. Flew down from uh, Washington State, from Spokane. And uh, he's originally from a small time outside of Texas. And his dad's been in the Air Force. He was a lifer, just retired last year. And he's lived all over the world. So we haven't had a chance to fish together. And today was our first time. You had fun today? Absolutely. It was a lot of fun. And he caught several of these calicos, a bunch of legals today, a couple of bonitas too. He's never done that before. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action here aboard the Gale Force of Catalina. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week.
this week's tip of the week, I'm going to talk to you about how we caught all the fish today. It was all about using live bait. Today we had great live bait aboard the Gale Force, and the tip is spend a little bit of time right here at the bait well. When you grab a bait, make sure it's a good lively bait, and if you pin that on, on the proper hook, you're going to get bit, and that's what happened today. So this week's tip is spend a little bit of time at the bait tank. It'll pay for itself, and you're going to catch more fish. Well, I want to thank our skipper, Tommy Lee. The whole crew of the Gale Force did a great job. And on a personal note, today I got to fish with my godson, first time ever. We had a great time, his first time ocean fishing. He caught some nice fish, calicos and some bonita. I just had a great time, it was really a lot of fun. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.